Listen, Jim. Oh. Yo, 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 we back with the season two finale of The Office. Now, I'm hoping this is an actual finale or at the very least feels like a finale because the last episode of season one didn't really feel like a finale. It felt more like a throwaway episode. So hopefully we get at least a cliffhanger in this episode, but I don't know. Last episode was conflict resolution. Towards the end of that episode, Jim went to see Jen about a transfer. So I don't know if he's gonna follow up with that. I'm not sure. Hopefully we get some answers on that situation. But uh, but yeah, I don't really have a lot to cover. Um, I'm just ready to finish this season. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video and let's just jump straight to it. Let's go. Tonight, the Scranton Business Park is having casino night. <laughs> Look at Dwight, man. Okay. Look at my boy. Excuse me, how long is the wait for a table for two? <laughs> it's a nice tux. I know. That's what I'm saying, it's a nice tux. Jim always gotta roast them, man. It belonged to my grandfather. He was buried in it, so... What? <laughs> Dwight is a weird guy, man. Definitely one of the weirdest characters in this show. The weirdest. Um. Yeah, the weirdest. Creed is definitely the randomest, if that's even a word. Ever since I was a little kid, I could sort of control things with my mind. Jim is about to prove his telekinetic powers. Go ahead. What? <laughs> what? Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. That was smart. Oh my God. <laughs> But for real though, I, I was asking myself, how did he do that before Pam showed the umbrella, of course. Okay, everybody, tonight's event is to benefit the Boy Scouts of America. Kobe Bryant has a foundation and he is so hot and he gave his wife the biggest diamond. <sighs> Damn, bro. Rest in peace, Kobe. Damn. Actually, I didn't think it was appropriate to invite children since it's, uh, it's a school night. Should I keep going? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. I love this rivalry, man. I love everything about this rivalry. You know what? I'm, I'm going to stop calling it a rivalry because I don't even feel like it's a rivalry. I just feel like it's Michael just hating on D Toby for no reason because Toby did bring up some good points. It is a school night. It is... Like he said, there's going to be alcohol, Hooters is catering, so he made some good points. It's just Michael. Michael is just being Michael, as usual. I have already put down the deposit. Do you understand how a deposit works? Mike, I am not having fire eaters. Hey, Daryl, good to see you, man. When Daryl was coming, you said you wanted me here for protection. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, 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 Michael. That you are afraid. Why? Because I'm from the hood. Dink and flicker. I told Mike some uh, some phrases. Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, um, I taught him a handshake too. <laughs> Stop it, Dwight. He wasn't being for real. Ah, this band is called Scrantonicity. Okay. Let's take a look. Is that Kevin? That, that... That's Kevin. Hold up. On the drums. What? On... That is Kevin. What the hell? I'm gonna call the label. No, gonna... no, 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 come back. Lose him to no, way. no, you're gonna have to get Kevin. Carol, you're on with Michael. Hello, Michael. Hi, Carol. How you doing? Uh, what? what? Is... Oh, I'm sorry. Could you hold on? Jan Levinson, I presume. Okay. You know what? I, I, let me just hold on. Let me just let this finish out before I say anything. Oh. I could use a little fun, so I am going to drive up. Uh, hello, Carol. Uh, I, to answer your question. Yeah. Yes, I'd love to go. Two queens on casino night. All right. So first things first, is this gonna be our first love triangle in this show? And the second thing I was gonna say is that 
One of you guys told me in the comments that that's actually Steve Carell's wife. So I think I definitely think it would be interesting to see them as a couple in the show. Definitely be something fun to see. <laughs> Here. Well, this. Right. <laughs> two dates. He's got two dates. I know, right? Michael is a smooth player. Who would have thought? Oh, I steal things all the time. It's just something I do. I've taken from this place. Honestly, I love stealing things. I mean, just, uh, all right, I guess. Just confessing to stealing, committing a crime. Your nurse became your girlfriend. Sweet. She was never my nurse. I met her at Chili's. Chili's is great. Chili's is awesome, honestly. Underrated spot. Very, very underrated spot. And welcome to Monte Carlo and the disabled. Welcome all. <laughs> Great. Okay. Michael just cannot help himself, man. He just has no filter. Michael just speaks his mind. And sometimes I love him for it, but sometimes he goes overboard. Okay, the game is No Limit Texas Hold'em. Good luck, everybody. Bluffing is a key part of poker, which is too bad because I'm not very good at bluffing. I don't really play poker, so I don't really understand it, so. You really... I don't really play cards, but I'm not gonna lie to you. It felt really good to take money from Michael. Yeah, I'm sure it did, Toby. He always gives you a hard time. Wow, bad luck. Ah. Yeah, whatever. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. shit! Michael? <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey, what? Jan's here. A bit late there, uh, Jim. I mean, uh, Dwight. This is craps. I need to roll an eight. If I do, everyone wins. Yes. Then roll an eight. All right. Uh, That's good stuff. Man. Dwight, let's. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, you ain't had to slap the man. I mean, if you want to keep it, I don't know why she keeps keeping it private, though. I guess, you know, relationships at the workplace. Toby said that's not, that's a no-no. I have good cards. Really? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna take you all in. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's undeniable the, that these two have great chemistry. It's kind of obvious, but at the same time, you know, like I've said in the past, I mean, she's engaged to Roy for a reason. Cousin Halton, please. Hey, red wine. They actually kind of look alike too. A little bit, kind of. You guys see it too? Actually, um, I guess this would be our first date. Well, I'm having a nice time. Oh, me too. Me too. Damn. <laughs> you could just cut the tension with a knife, man. With a butter knife. So, yeah. I'm pretty good at poker. Okay, let's do it. Good luck, honey. Oh, thank you, Bobby, but it doesn't matter. It's just fun to play. That's the at right attitude. I, I have an ace. No, that's a flush. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, I have all the clovers. You want to play again? I suck. <laughs> uh, Kevin, you're amazing, bro. Having fun? Fabulous time. At least keep it discreet, all right? Make it a little bit discreet. You're just making it obvious. Thanks. I, I never owned a refrigerator. What? I'll see you at home. Okay. Hey, don't try to lose too much money, all right? Okay. You still wanna... It's a nice dress. No lie. I'm in love with you. What? Okay. What do you expect me to say to that? I just need you to know. I ain't gonna lie, you did kind of put her in a tough position though. Cause I mean, the woman is engaged to be married. I just think it's a bit disrespectful on Jim's part, honestly. I wanna be more than that. I can't. All right. Love triangle, drama. So actually the hero got two girls. He got the girl that he works with. Damn. Yo, did you see that face she made? Damn, she was fuming. Um, I don't know, Mom. He's my best friend. 
Listen, Jim. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know. I think it's very disrespectful. That's just my opinion, though. All righty. That was episode 22 of season two. Excuse my language, but that shit was fucking dope. Because to be honest with y'all, I didn't even think Jim was going to go ahead and confess his feelings. I thought, so this is what I thought was going to happen. I thought, you know, Jim was going to go through with the transfer and he'd get written off of season three and he'd come back in the future seasons. And then, you know, they try to spark things up again with Jim and Pam. I thought that was going to happen. So when he, you know, came out and told her that, hey, I'm in love with you. Bold move. <laughs> My guy was shooting from the half court, man. He was shooting his shot. Here we have our last one. What's your name? Most people call me Jim. Happy, but you can call me anytime. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I still think it's disrespectful on Jim's part. Him confessing his feelings towards um, Pam, that was okay. You know, it was still crossing the line but that was kind of acceptable but him making out with her at the end yeah i can't co-sign that man especially because the woman's engaged you know if she did let's say call off the wedding then hey i'm all for it i'm all for jim and pam but for now i still think it's a bit disrespectful in jim's part i just can't wait to see what happens next because Shit's about to go down. <laughs> I don't know if Pam is going to tell Roy. We'll just have to wait and see. But besides Jim and Pam, Michael, Carol, and Jen, that's a whole new train wreck waiting to happen. <laughs> so, but now nah, for real though, um, if Michael and Carol do end up together, you know, I'll be happy for the guy. Jan does keep playing games with him. You know, it's one episode. She absolutely hates him and is just disgusted by the thought of them two being together. In other episodes, you know, like in this one, you know, she's driving two hours just to see him. So it's like, I don't know. I'm just getting like, I feel like she's manipulative just a bit. You know, I'm getting those type of vibes from her. So that's why I'm not really co-signing Jan and Michael. Uh, Michael and Toby. <laughs> that whole rivalry is literally i think the best thing or one of the best things to come out of season two i just i, I literally i don't see a reason why michael is so hostile to towards toby maybe y'all can let me know you know with, or hopefully without spoiling anything but man the guy really doesn't like toby <laughs> like i said i get it he's from um hr but Dude, seriously, like, you know, that whole rant that Michael went on, you know. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Or why are you the way that you are? Honestly. Toby did bring up some great points, like I said, but yeah, Michael and Toby, a rivalry that I did not know I needed until now. But as an overall episode, that was one of the best episodes in this show this season has been amazing but my favorite episode still to this day is dwight's speech I, I just love that episode because of how relatable that episode is you know when it comes to making speeches i'm just like dwight you know i get very anxious i get very nervous and seeing dwight go through the same experience and seeing all that pressure and for him to come out victorious at, at the end was just iconic that episode was just so good you know it was funny an overall just enjoyable episode with a memorable speech and speaking of dwight i think the guy has had the best character development in this season you know like i've stated it before also um i didn't like him in season one but over time after seeing him in each episode seeing him at his very best and seeing him at his most vulnerable like in that uh injury episode i think it was episode 14 i think 
Dwight has been through a lot in this season. You know, he's got a girlfriend now. He's had all these amazing things happen to him. You know, you just can't help just but root for the guy and just cheer for him. So I know it's still early. I know it's barely season two. There's still seven more seasons to go. A lot more characters probably that we haven't met yet. So I'm just saying for this season, Dwight has had the best character development and I'm sure Michael's character arc is gonna be amazing once the whole show just wraps up. But yeah, Dwight Schrute, <laughs> what a character, man. <laughs> what a freaking character. <laughs> But yeah, probably gonna watch the bloopers in a couple minutes. I just gotta take a break. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll be right back.